Here are my problems with nationalism. Nationalism is focused on the nation only. Nationalism in history that created so much problems. Just like religion fundamentalism. We are all one planet. We need it to don't focus that much on our nationalities. We need to place the planet first. First in the world of Samsara. There are many forms of reincarnation. You can be reincarnated as any possible living being. So with this say consuming some other animals is a form of cannibalism. It is time that we're going to take this and think about this for a greater part. Also if you are not believing in uh, Hinduism or Buddhism this is still a great thing to think about. Because why in the first place do you want to harm another living being when it is not necessary? Think about it. This comes from supremacism. And this supremacism is so hardened in your culture spread by the lies of your government. Your parents are lied by their government to uh, their parents. Parents who are lied by society, lied by their government, lied by um, archaeologists with a business interest. House workers already debunked by real archaeologists. The large percentage of our evolution, we did not eat animals. The most accepted theory is that when that uh, when the ice age struck, people started to hunting and eating animals. Before that, we were mostly gatherers, fruit fruit um, gatherers. People. It is time we going to back to this more evolved version of the consciousness. And I say evolved because it is more correct. It is greater. It is more wise than the way we are living now. This individualism. It's uh, we are all. Individuals is hurting to the planet because we are not one individual, we are a symbiote. We are exist out of, uh, if you are 70 kilograms, you exist out of 70 trillion cells. Of this, around 40 trillion are bacteria, and around 30 trillion are so-called human cells. We are one host of a large percentage of uh, symbiotic bacteria who work together with us to hold this body alive and healthy. They help to digest um, fiber for us and turn it into healthy vitamins and minerals. And our body far better in certain stuff than we may think. And not even all vitamins and minerals are detected. I think there are far more scientists don't know what we have and that our body actually makes. For example, there is a melanobacteria and that bacteria is a family of cyanobacteria. How uh, actually did give up his function of getting his energy from a photosynthesis uh, because it doesn't live in a dark uh, environment that evolved into this organ an organism mostly plants to eating organisms because that bacteria only can live on fibers and what it creates is different kind of B vitamins 
and vitamin K, and so are so many more things. We are living in communities. We, sh we should not living in multinational societies where it is impossible to know your village. We should live in small societies, not more than 20,000 people. Uh, cut from each other by large wilderness areas. We should to put a limit on population growth and we should not put humans or like I have to say hominids before all other life because we are not the most important species on the planet no matter how much we want to believe it. There are species far more important than us. And the way we are acting now to the planet, six mass extinction, like scientists like to call it. Also, they call it the Anthropocene. We don't deserve to be getting a special treatment. And that's not my opinion. That's a fact. I know the difference between opinions and facts. Do you? It's not my opinion that we, right now, the way we act is parasitic. We just, we're taking the habitats away of other animals to make place for more enslaved animals that we torture and murder. That we torture and murder even more animals to try to find cures for diseases that we get from eating the animals. And in a way, we claim that we care about justice and morality when we are causing mass starvation in other countries how we can easily prevent if we were not so gluttonous. Find true dharma. Dharma of righteousness. I'm not here to boo you out. I'm not here to ban your enemy. But I'm also not here to be your friend. I'm here to open your eyes and break you free from this mindless robotic state. From eat there, uh, care about this, don't care about that, to um, worship there, worship the waning wall, worship the, the statues in the Vatican, worship the building in. Um, Mega, the thing, that box, that I believe Muhammad did kiss, and now all Muslims want to kiss that stone in Mecca, black stone of Mecca. All the Muslims that do the pilgrimage. Just say you people. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. To a lot of trust we are doing because we want to look like kings and queens. We want to imitate immoral people because they tell us that we are jealous on them. But look in yourself. Are you truly jealous on the Kardashians, Donald Trump, and all those people? They are sad, pathetic, and not good role models. Look at, your, look at yourself. Do you want to be despicable porn star uh, shitheads like them? Sorry for my language. I'm not. I've, what I feel for those people is out in and 100% despise. I despise their glut in this lifestyle. I despise that they take so much more than they need. That, that those people seem to want to have always more and more. I think that other people are selfish when they cannot even script their asshole. 
because they are so poor that they cannot even have their hygiene, that they live on the street, that they live in poor countries, that they don't like the, the lottery of life that we have created. You are born in Ethiopia. The chances that you get not the same if you're poor, born born here. Even if you are born with a different kind of mindset, that your brain works not in the way that the society wants that your brain works. If you have uh, autism, then you have also less chances in society. If you have... Um, even if you are high functioning autism, then it is still hard often to maintain a job. But that is how that's because how society is set up. I for myself prefer a person who's honest to me over a person oh, wants to have success. I prefer to listen to a person of viral instead of a person of success. I don't to believe somebody just because he is an authority figure. I believe it because it makes sense. It fits. I'm a system I'm a systematic thinker. I think in logic I think linear I'm I'm radical. I'm never afraid to say what I think. I know that shocks some people. Make people sometimes angry at me. But other times people will mirror me for doing that. For being just honest. Don't sh bullshit again. I'm so, so fed up with all the games that people want to play. Not letting People talk their mind. To say something that I don't like. Black on anything. I don't want to uh, be connected with them. Yeah, he supports violence. He supports radical actions. He is out of his mind for doing that and saying that. Do you know what's wrong for veganism? is constantly infighting about what's wrong for veganism. Remember in which kind of world we live. A world of half prophecy everywhere. Left, right, all a bunch of criminals. Environmental terrorists. An environmental terrorist is somebody who hurts the environment. If a terrorist somebody, is somebody that hurts uh, innocent um, beings with violent force, like kidnapping, torment and abuse, then an eco-terrorist is somebody who harms the environment and destroys habitats for economical profit. This time that we are waking from the mindless robotic sounds of might of the capitalists, fascists on this world. I believe the whole world belongs to them. I believe they can destroy the environment, separate people from their lands, like Bolsonaro. He did say, literally say that he. I have no problem with killing Native Americans. I have no, have no problem with destroying the habitats of innocent animals that live there. I have no heart at all. He only cares about money, 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 short solutions, short, short, short grabs, short grabs, destroying the rainforest. Fuck that, fuck that. To um, expand the animal agriculture industry. So. Open your eyes, stop being gluttonous, go vegan.